Hi there. Welcome to day 20 of our 33 days of manifestation with Mariam and Bonita. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, Bonita Woods and The Core Shift, because we're trying to uh, manifest more subscribers and we appreciate your participation with that. Today, we are continuing with our process of manifesting money, something that is absolutely meaningless to our soul and to the angels and our guides, but it means so much to us. <laughs> so um, here's the thing to remember. It is so important that you feel absolute faith in self and completely self-empowered. That's why I like to do the spoon bending, because if I can get <laughs> Like this fork and spoon all curled up in each other, then I can do anything. I'm also a big fan of saying, if that person can do it, then I can do it. It's just a matter of practice and belief in self. So I go and hang out with or attend events by, hosted by like really extraordinary people who have accomplished amazing things like all of these crystals in here have been apported from i was told the angelic realm so i have here a little box of what i consider magical crystals that i saw with my own eyes appear out of nowhere and Let's see, I have one here. Here it is. This little shield crystal. And it's got, you see little like fractures, internal fractures in there or growth lines. This crystal has actually changed color on me multiple times. And it always seemed, I saw it, I saw it. Like I was three feet, two feet from seeing it like drop out onto a cloth. And when it dropped out, it was clear quartz shield, but the fractures had little rose quartz growth points in them. And then later that disappeared. And also a lot of the fracture points disappeared. It was almost like glass. And then the edges turned purple and it became amethyst. Now this happened over, you know, several years of time. It wasn't just like bing, bing, bing. It was like slow processes. And then all of that pulled back. And then the little uh, internal fracture points started. Um, it was clear again, but the fracture points were getting bigger and bigger. And they were full of rutile. They were rutilated. So it was like little lines of routine like little threads and i had this documented by geologists at the smithsonian institute and the u.s geological survey and they're every time they're like no it's a different crystal there's no way it's the same crystal so we have documented images of this and now like all the routine has gone back it's oops it's clear again but you see it's got more of the internal growth lines than before and it's getting a little bit of a rainbow refraction in there. So it always represents where I'm at with my life. And I look forward to seeing, you know, what it evolved to and what the meaning is behind it. So this is like a magical crystal that was sent to me. It appeared in thin air and dropped onto a white cloth. And um, I didn't bring it through. It was another person who is skilled with this process, trained with this process. He said it came to me from Archangel Michael. The weird thing is, as that happened, the sun was setting and the clouds looked like an angel, angels coming through a portal. Uh, there was a whole bunch of us there and we all went out on the balcony and we're looking at all of these angels and it was like so obvious to everyone it was such a magical experience so here's the thing if this can happen in front of me by another person who's just a person who's trained with this because he has absolute faith and belief and he's practiced 
He's developed the skill, the connection. Then I can do it. You can do it if we put in the time and the work to develop the skill. I mentioned that anecdote, one, because it's like so freaking cool, but two, as a reminder, for any of you who practice spoon bending with me, you know, we can do whatever we believe we can do. So today we are going to practice a little meditation on believing that the money is just flowing to us. We don't need to worry about where, how, what, or why it's coming in, but the money is flowing in. The money is flowing in. This is comparable to an exercise I do where whenever I have to do housework, because like, ugh, <laughs> I do not enjoy doing housework. I sit and um, like the night before when I'm going to sleep and I chat with my guides and everyone and thank them for the day. And then I close my eyes. I'm already in bed in the morning when I wake up before I open my eyes, I connect in and I thank everyone for a wonderful night's sleep. And I tell them what I have in store for today. I do that the night before and the morning of, because that way they are all set to help me with whatever I want. And I tell them, I'm going to clean house today. I want your help. I'm going to clean house at 11 a.m. And then at like 10.45 a.m., I sit and I check in with them. And I'm like, okay, I'm cleaning house today. Who's coming to help me? And amazingly, there will be all these like fairies and angels and whoever. They're like the cleaning core. They love cleaning. Now, I have to do my housework. I have to physically vacuum, mop, dust, do laundry. But everything is done in much less time. Like when I wipe a shelf, instead of having to wipe five times, I just have to wipe like twice and all the dirt comes up. When I vacuum, all the dirt comes up, even in the hard to reach areas. And when I'm all done, I look and it all happened in much less time and it's sparkling. So I think about that when I go to manifest money just flowing to me, I know that they're going to do their part and I do my part. And as I visualize the money flowing to me and my angels and my guides are helping me, they'll give me messages on what I need to do in my day, in my life to flow the money in. They might say, teach a class on whatever, and then they will make sure that class is full. Or they'll say, you know what, give a call to so-and-so and see how they're doing. And I'll call someone, we're chatting, I'll go, hey, I need some help with something. And it's a paying gig. I'm like, okay, like things just start happening. So we're going to work on this today. It's a quick meditation, but what I want you to do is practice this at night before you go to sleep, when you're already in bed, you know, and getting a little dozy in the morning when you wake up first thing, and then check in throughout the day, give yourself a little check in. So you're building that connection with those who will flow everything to you and be open to whomever comes in. All right, get ready. Close your eyes if you'd like, and just be Relax, look in your body and invite any tension or anxiety at this moment to vacate. And look in yourself. Find that little spark of joy that's just going to be found somewhere in your body. And invite it to expand. Invite it to expand, just like the fire in the wood stove behind me. We're not at a good angle to see it. We're not at a good angle to see it, but there's a beautiful blaze going in there. Invite the spark of joy to just expand and fill your being. If there are any parts of your body that are resisting the joy, often it might be barricades around the heart or the solar plexus or sacral chakras, you know, just invite them to release and take a break. Take like the equivalent of a coffee break or a little 
you know, everyone needs little breaks throughout the day and they can flow in the joy, flow in, let the spark of joy expand, just fill your being, invite your root chakra to open up so all of this joy can flow into earth. Invite your ambiance, your aura to just loosen up so all this joy can radiate out and around you. Invite your crown chakra to open up so that cosmic joy, universal joy, joy from the angels, your guides can flow in and replenish and flow through you. We're flowing, we're flowing and emanating and flowing and joying and then issue an invitation all who wish to connect with me who want to help me guide me mentor me assist me who will connect with me in the highest frequency of love the frequency of love that my soul has the frequency of love my guardian angel has for me on up to higher frequencies, you are invited to connect with me and help me. All others, you can go until you can raise your love frequency. I'm sure there's other things for you to do elsewhere. And invite in everyone who can connect with you through the highest frequency of love. You may feel a little pressure or discomfort in your head or your forehead or your eyes. Like if that happens, that's just your body's natural defense mechanism against any external forces coming in. Acknowledge that this is safe. This is love. And give your body permission to relax, to be receptive. Beautiful. And now greet whoever shows up. If it's too amorphous to know whom in person is showing up, just greet them and say, thank you for joining me through love. You may need to meet with them multiple times before, you know, that connection is really good. And you can see who they are or learn their names or their names or their image may evolve the more you become connected. That's all right. That's very natural. And you can open your heart wide. Greet and chat with everyone who's there to help you. It may be one. It may be a million. You may have a few collectives in there. And that is all right. And let them know what it is that you wish to talk with them about. You may have a few conversations to get through before you're ready to talk about, you know, money. Or it could be you can pour out your heart to them and say, please help me with all of these issues. And while you're at it, as the issues are releasing, let's fill that void with money, lots and lots of money. Here's the kicker. None of them really understand money, so they need the why of money. Just send lots and lots of money to me so I can pay my bills, so I can take that vacation, so I can buy the thing I want, so I can relax and breathe deep, release all the stress and worry so I can connect better with you without the anxiety, with a full heart. Send money to me and my heart can be open and I can do the work that we're here to do together. And let them know, you know, when you're first starting out, say any money, just send any money to me. As you get further and more comfortable, as money starts flowing in, then you're like, okay, now I want a hundred bucks, a thousand bucks, a million bucks, whatever. But when you're first beginning, just say any money, just send the money, send the money, flow the money to me through love. And 
be aware of what happens and give them a few other tasks to do. Like, you know, and while you're at it, you know, help me enjoy my life more. Everything that brings relaxation, calm, and enjoyment while I'm working through my day, while I'm doing what I need to do, just like, let's make a happier life and flow in the money. Release the issues, replace with money. And then, you know, thank them individually or as a group, embrace them and invite them to be flowing and connected and helping you all through your day. You will want to do this exercise every night when you go to bed, every morning when you wake up, and then reconnecting in throughout the day. If you have a conference meeting you have to go to and you're like, okay, just stop for a moment and check in with them and say, all right, I'm going to that conference meeting we talked about. Let's see if we can make it really flow well. You know, it helps. It really helps. I came from the corporate world. Believe me, it makes such a difference. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And remember to have constant gratitude. Everything that goes well in your day, even if you didn't ask for it, give gratitude because that opens your connection and it creates a better flow of frequency. And then things will start happening. Suddenly you'll get offered a promotion you didn't even know you were up for, or and you might find $20 in a pocket somewhere. And you're like, oh, I didn't know I had $20 there. <sighs> Remember, the magic is real and we can each do it. It comes down to our belief in ourselves and our willingness to be magical. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I wish you the best of luck with this, and I know you'll have a good time. Bye.